Um, as I mentioned before, as a national couple days ago, at the National Arts Festival, where they uh, present uh, programs uh, uh, of, of artistic nature, as, as well as um, uh, there's uh, uh, fine arts and there's sculpture all around uh, Grahamstown. It takes place in several several um, areas in Grahamstown. And one area they called it, I think, the Fiddlers or something. Anyway, and that's where they have the uh, the carnival rides. Or whatever. That was that was pretty fun. You know, got on a carnival ride. But my wife was pretty fun. Maybe I'll post that little that little thing. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Uh, and also. Um, uh, 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 like I said, they have all kinds of you know, performance, uh, dance, theater, uh, fine arts, of course, um, uh, uh, music, uh, all over the place. So, uh, so it was quite interesting. The last time I, I talked, I, I, I didn't mention two shows that I that I, uh, that I went to. One was won an award uh, for the for the concert for the for the festival, um, the uh, the National Arts Festival, it's called. And it's presented in Grahamstown uh, every year at the end of June, beginning of July. Anyway, uh, they had a thing called Hane, the, Hane, the legacy, talking about Chris Hane. And that was, uh, whew, that was really good. Um, they advertised it as uh, like uh, something in the lines of uh, the, the stage, the hit Broadway play or hit, hit play um, Hamilton. Okay, because it had some rap and dance and whatever have you. And it was, it was really, really, very good. It was very well done. Really enjoyed it. Uh, young people, um, and it was very, very well, well done. There was a, there is a, a piece that I'm going to have to see for a while. I think I paid right at the door. It was a, a, it's a piece, uh, it was something, I think the piece is called, um, what a six-year-old, uh, question from a, from, question from a six-year-old to Mr. Mr. Government, a question from a six-year-old. Six-year-old questions. Uh, Six-year-olds question the government or Mr. Government, and uh, that was quite interesting uh, because one of the lines, it's almost like a classic line, now, it's a immediate classic line, uh, where where they talk about these two girls, two little six-year-old girls, they they uh, come to an orphanage. They're, they're orphans and they're, they're taken into an orphanage, so they're, they're talking a little bit. And one of the things they say is that. Uh, uh, well, uh, they they don't eat cabbage. Uh, well, they eat cabbage, and they so well, who doesn't eat cabbage? Because they think everybody eats cabbage. Well, uh, uh, Mr. Government doesn't eat cabbage anymore. He used to eat cabbage, but he doesn't eat cabbage anymore. Uh, that's his diet, which is which is really 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 interesting. So what they're saying is basically that uh, when you get to a certain level, you leave those things behind and you leave those people behind. But that's what it says to me, and. Uh, which, which is exactly what's happening. You know, the, the, the haves, if you will, the, the created middle class, you know, they continue to try to grab more and more and more and, 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 and leave the middle class. But as they leave the middle class, if they can leave the middle class, what they're leaving it for is a lot of times they go right back down and fail and go down to a lower class or lose economic wealth. That's what, that's what happens. That's the reality these days. Because people, there's no sharing, there's no Ubuntu. Like they, they, they're supposed to share and share alike and all that stuff doesn't happen. Not, capitalism cannot, let me say, Ubuntu cannot exist in a capitalist society. Let's put it that way. And, and so now as we have more and more um, people getting wealth, we have less and less, um, uh, Less and less gratitude, less and less uh, uh, humanity. Basically, we're losing our humanity in favor of I don't know uh, survival. But but but, we're, but they, we make our own survival. Well, why do we have to survive like this? That's the kind of questions that this um, uh, Mr. Government, you know, question from a six-year-old uh, came from. So anyway, I just wanted to let you to that because um, that's what we do here: give you alerts. It's alert from me, T, from the Patterson's taking a train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.